Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV coming once again from Bangkok. And this time around, I'm at the Global MBB Forum 2022 hosted by Huawei. Now, there are many things that is really exciting for this particular forum, but I'm going to be highlighting what is really cool where 5G needs to thrive. Now, I'm sure that you probably know by now that 5G have been widely used and have been successful around the world. And because of this, more enterprises like healthcare, logistics, retail and many more are investing in 5G applications. Globally, there are more than 210 5G networks and a whooping 700 million 5G users. So having 5G alone can be deemed useless if there's no case studies because how do we know that it is beneficial, right? Well, the good news is there are one case study that has been happening right here in Bangkok, which is the Smart Hospital at Siri Raj Hospital. Now, Siri Raj Hospital is ASEAN's first 5G smart hospital that has an amazing 5G smart capabilities, such as having remote consultation with doctors no matter where you are, and with 5G connectivity, rest assured that there are no video latency at all. Now, there's also the plug and play monitoring for remote communication in the emergency room, making it easier for doctors to get quicker real-time results, then giving the report in a more mobile, conclusive way. Next, there is the 5G unmanned car, where there is a totally automated driving vehicle that transports medications, which essentially means that there's no risk of any infection and improves delivery efficiency. Then finally, the 5G ambulance was a really fantastic thing to have, where the patient's data is given while the ambulance is on the way. So by the time the ambulance is at the emergency site, the overall response from the medical team will be way faster, hence bringing the patient to the hospital will be a lot quicker. Now, how cool is that, right? Now, I'm sure you all heard of VR, right? But how about XR? Well, this, my friends, is the Metaverse XR where XR stands for Extended Reality and in here there's the advanced metaverse features that could be done. For example, there's a makeshift convenience store where you have the ability to pick up the item, walk to the counter and then make a payment all within the metaverse. Now, all of this is very exciting to know as it will bring the metaverse to a whole new experience and I can't wait for all of this to really pick up in the industry. So another case study would be the Intelligent Oil Wells in Kuwait. Now, whether or not the oil well is located at sea or on ground, with 5G, all the data can be collected easily with LEMS linkage to the 5G base station. Then all of the data will be sent to the campus in real time without having any on-ground stuff. So that will provide a safer production to the oil wells. Then speaking of the campus, the 5G services has also been very well implemented over here, where there is the mobile inspection, where there will be inspection robots that will move in a fixed track that will go through every area within the campus to get all the needed data and maintenance as well. And these are all fully automated from mending the inspection robots, where this mobile is also equipped with cameras for easy surveillance as well, that has up to 4K resolution, recording up to 30 frames per second. Next, there's the AR-assisted campus, where there are two inspection personnel that will wear the explosion-proof AR headbands. And with that, they will easily get the guidance remotely from experts instead of typically going back and forth with a video footage for troubleshooting and maintenance as everything is done in real time thanks to the 5G communications. Oh, there are obviously more case studies, but these are the two highlights for me. Now, moving forward, I'm sure you all know how much I love smart homes and I'm in the midst of creating my very own smart home. And while I'm really lucky to have one GBPS connection at home, many have complained about not being able to get such data speeds at their areas because of the lack of fiber cable support, especially for landed properties as well. Well, here's where 5G comes. As with the 5G premium home, you'll have the option to choose between five different CPEs or customer premise equipment or terminals from the outdoor CPE Max 5, which is great for people who live in a more suburb areas that requires a more outdoor signal strength. Then there's the CPE Pro 5 for an indoor premium experience that has up to 12 dBi high antenna gain. Then there's also the cost effective CPE and a cool window mounted 5G CPE as well. Now with this, it will give you the overall benefits not only for your smart home monitoring, but of course, when it comes to streaming your OTT TV streaming, cloud gaming and the super fast Wi-Fi speeds too, since all of the CPE has SIM card slot in there as well. And then what I found super beneficial was with online selling with platforms such as TikTok Shop. 
Where with 5G, whether or not you're a seller or your customer, you'll surely reap the benefits of extremely low latency connection. Now at the exhibition area, there's a new video area where there's a propped up night market where it shows how easily is it to set up. And speaking of a setup, there's the all-in-one live streaming machine where not only it has a built-in screen to easily navigate through the comments or make adjustments of how you look with various spots and buttons around the device to really bring your live stream to a higher level with ease. Then moving along, I'm sure you all heard of 3D TVs, right? Long time ago, it was a must-have. But now, you can bring the whole experience on your mobile devices. And no matter what the device that you have, it acts as a screen protector that goes into your smartphone or tablet with wide compatibility as well. And this would be something that I feel that you and even I would really appreciate to bring it in your devices. So that's all the cool facts and the things that you should know about the current and the future development of 5G. And all of this is thanks to Huawei and the partners, of course. Now, speaking of the future, a few key points to note is that 5.5G will upgrade its network capabilities by 10 times, supporting a massive 10 Gbps experience. So this have achieved key progress in three folds with all the necessary key preparations in this development as well to give benefit to everyone moving forward. That's all for me here in Bangkok and for more information, I'll leave all the links in the description below. My name is Adam Lobo signing off for the MBB Forum 2022 by Huawei and I'll catch you guys really soon.